All right, today we're going to go through the whole developing process. So, so far you have your film on the reel, in your tank, ready to develop here. And what we are going to be doing is the first thing is starting off with our developer. So the developer is in this tank right here, and we use these measuring cups in order to measure right up to this line. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to be filling up your developer to the line right there. And that is what we measure out as far as the contents for our tank, all right? So the tank, again, is constructed so that water and liquid goes into the center hole, which is acting like a funnel. Your whole goal while you're pouring it in, you don't really have to worry too much with the developer because we already have it measured out. So your first thing is to tilt your tank and pour your developer into your tank. Make sure that you get all of the, that developer in there. Remember, it's perfectly portioned out, so you don't have to worry that you're not filling it up far enough. The very first thing you should do when you are filling up your tank is you should tap the tank. While you are pouring chemicals in there, air bubbles might have attached to your film, and it's always a good idea to start off by tapping your tank to loosen up any air bubbles that attach to your film. During the nine minute developing process for this type of film and this type of developer, nine minutes is what you are going to be developing your film for. During those nine minutes, you are going to be doing a process that is called agitation. So what agitation looks like every minute, you are going to rotate your tank for only five seconds. Notice that I'm just turning it back and forth so that the chemicals wash over the film nice and evenly. At the end of that five seconds, I will tap it on the counter again. You will be doing that every minute for nine minutes. All right, so again, you will be agitating for five seconds once a minute for nine minutes. When you are done with your agitations and also the nine minute process, we will be pouring the developer down the drain. All right, and then what we will be doing is rinsing. I will start the video up again once we get to that point. All right, so I'm coming up on the nine minutes right now. So a couple things too. Remember the number that is on top of your tank. You will be leaving your tanks over by the sink area. As you can see, they do cause some, you know, they do leak occasionally and you don't want that leaking to happen on your table. Now, uh, so just remember the number that's on the top of your tank. So as we are coming close to finishing, I'm gonna do one last agitation right here. So again, rotating it nice and gently for five seconds every minute. If you over agitate it by shaking it, uh, you could actually end up making the grain of the film bigger. So you wanna watch out for over agitating or over developing. Use your phone and use your timer and set it up for nine minutes. Next, we are going to be pouring this right down the drain. So run your water, the cold water, because you will be rinsing this out twice. So we're going ahead and pouring all that out of there. You're gonna fill it up once with cold water, shake it up, and then fill it up one more time again with cold water. And the second time that you are doing it, make sure you get all that water out of there. Because now we're going to be pouring fixer into our tank. Fixer is what makes your film permanent and transparent. So we're going to walk over to another area of the sink where the fixer is. And now fixer is going to be in one of the bottles that are clear with the yellow tag on it. And it says rapid fixer. Okay. This has been pre-mixed for you. So all you need to do is you are going to be pouring this into your tank. Now, you are not using a measuring cup. What you should see or notice is that when you do uh, fill up your tank, in these little dashed areas on the lid, when you tilt your tank to the uh, side like so, it'll be about half of the bottle gets poured into the tank. And as soon as you start to see some of the chemicals spill into this area right in here, if you can see that, 
that's how you know your tank is full. Once you're full with fixer, you tap it and then you leave it for five minutes. Now, with the fixer, fixer is a set amount of time. Well, actually, let me take that back. Developer is a set amount of time. Fixer, very similar to the dark room where you can fix something for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It's not going to make the image more permanent. Fixing is important for five minutes because we need to make sure that the film becomes transparent. All right, that is the second thing that Fixer does to your film. It makes it permanent to light, but it also makes the film transparent so that we can project light through the film. So, you know, I usually fix my film for seven or eight minutes. Remember, there is no harm in over fixing your film, but there is definitely an issue that can happen when you are under fixing your film. So again, make sure that you are fixing for a full five minutes. All right, so currently we are almost up to the time where we are done fixing our film. The fixer gets reused, so we recycle our fixer. So that's important to understand. So you wanna make sure that you are putting one of the fixer funnels into the bottle of fixer. Doesn't necessarily have to be one that you use. So once you've completed pouring all the fixer back into the bottle, you wanna make sure that you take the funnel out, cap the funnel back up, because that's what tends to smell in the room is the chemical of fixer. And now we're gonna bring our tank over to our rinse in order to rinse it in this device over here. You wanna start the cold water, undo your lid, and then we can take a look, a quick look at our film to make sure that it has fixed where it needs to fix. Now don't take your film completely off. I'm just looking in this little area right here to make sure that the film is transparent where it needs to be. I'm gonna place the reel into this device again right here with the running cold water, and you are going to rinse your film for three minutes. Also at this point, your tank is still potentially wet with fixer. So what you wanna do is come over to another area of the sink, just rinse your stuff off really quick. You can even let the next person dry it. And then in one of the empty tanks, or excuse me, empty bins, you're gonna put your tank into one of the empty bins. After the three minutes is up, we are going to do a process which is called photo flow. So after the three minutes has been completed and for rinsing, you can also rinse your film for five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. It's not gonna ruin your film if you over fix or if you over rinse. But over developing, yes, that does ruin your film. Now, what we are going to be doing is we're gonna take the reel apart. So you simply twist this so that your uh, top one side of it comes off. You're gonna put those parts to the reel over here for them to drip dry. And here is your film with your images. We are now going to do a process which is called photo flow. So inside of this container right here, which is next to the rinse, what you are going to do is you are gonna take one of the sponges out of the photo flow, and you are simply going to fold the sponge over your film, and then you are just going to pass your film through the slightly damp sponge that has photo flow on it. What is photo flow? Photo flow is a, uh, a basically a soap mixture that prevents water spots from drying on your film. Now, in order to use one of the metal reels uh, within our class, the metal reels, I think I have a few over here. So how the metal reel works, and I can always help you with this, you simply look for the two ends of the reel where there's basically two wires ending. That is going to point down towards the hand that is holding the film. So again, you see those wires ending right there and right there. You put the film into the middle of your reel. You slightly pinch, and then you ro rotate the reel away from the hand that is holding the film. And what you're gonna end up with is the film basically going onto this middle reel where it is all separated so that air can pass through here. The dryer for us is located in this part of the room. I'm bending backwards so you can see here. 
So we have our dryer right here. And now I'm going to be putting the film into the bottom of the dryer. Always make sure that if there is a roll of film in there, hey, great. Uh, you can always put your film underneath it. But if yours is the only one in there, you got to latch it up. And then you have to turn the black knob over here just so that you are turning the device on. Once you turn the dryer on, it will stay on. After about three or four minutes, your film will be dry. So once your film is dry and the three minutes are up, you can turn the dryer off. Uh, you unlatch it, make sure you hold your hand underneath the film. And now you are ready to put your film inside of one of these. This is a negative sleeve right here. And basically how this works is that you are going to be cutting up your film by sections or images of five images long. So the first thing that you do is you just start with your first good image, cut right in between the images, and then we just count off one, two, three, four, five, cut, and then one, two, three, four, five, cut, and if you end up with, you know, just a one little image, well, if you really want that one little image, uh, keep this entire black section here. It just makes it a lot easier to deal with back in the dark room uh, when you have a little bit more of film to grab onto. Make sure that the shinier portion of your film, all right, that's the top surface of your film, should go facing up as you slide it inside of your negative sleeve. And at this point, try to avoid pressing any fingerprints against your film uh, in order to uh, preserve your film and keep it, you know, fingerprint free. Slide those in, and then you are ready to make what is called a contact sheet, which again is a positive of your negatives. Uh, I'll be showing you how to do that later.